Hello and welcome to another tutorial from Code Review. Today we will talk about Style Guidist. Now, Style Guidist is a React uh, library, is an isolated React component development environment with living style guided. Now, uh, development environment focus on one component at time, see all the variants on work faster and ho with hot reloaded. And also, you can see an interactive playground and with uh, styling also. Now, style guidance is uh, built in React, so it's easy to use and also it's out of the box uh, supported with our Create React app. Welcome and join me. Hello again. So this is Create React app. Uh, we will go first and install these uh, packages. You will find it in your readme file. This package is actually is not SAS and React uh, and I have installed it already in React. Now we will uh, write scripts for it. So style guide is uh, server and style guide is build. So write style guide is and then the other one style guide is especially for build. And then, yeah, this will take the style guide from the node models and run the server. And this also take the style guide build command. And both of them will take the configuration from our file, which is not created yet. We will create it soon. I will remain it, uh, rename it styleguidist.config.js uh, inside my config directory. So I will create this conf uh, directory. Now styleguidist.config.js Now this style guide is config is is a webpack configuration for a style guide library. So uh, what we do, we give some information first, like a title, and maybe you will think about like take the title from the package JSON, so to take the project title, and I have. Uh, taking just the version, so I will write just the version uh, from package.json this is required me from package.json to go in package.json and grab just the version from it and then pass it to style guidest and the important the very important step is where the components located so um i will create a components folder inside a uh, source directory and then i will grab it by a uh, regular expression to grab every file inside my directory with a js uh, extension and then the uh, also if you have a, if you want to ignore some files, you maybe you put the ignore uh, attribute also, and then you might be thinking about to ignore uh, maybe the node models because this is very important also to ignore node models, especially if you have Material UI in it. And uh, yeah, I will also ignore uh, the test files because no one wants to see the test files inside your. Uh, components there and also there is no point to see the test actually for require I will require all the styles the global styles let's say because uh, via the SAS you can import other uh, SAS files and then you can go uh, grab all the global styles and then comes forward back config 
and then for now I will provide like just two rules I'm not uh, I'm not gonna make this uh, video so long so two rules and then I will provide just for testing for uh, JS if you are not familiar with Webpack you can head to the Webpack uh, config and then see if there is an, uh, something like it's always like this uh, you need to grab the Webpack config from uh, Webpack website and then we're using regular expression for JSX and using excluding for node models and also I use loaders now this loaders is very important but we will take uh, maybe it will make some problems but we'll see now I will grab also uh, the loaders for SAS files otherwise it will not be rendered inside my uh, inside my uh, JS file and also style guides will not recognize our the SAS files and then what I am using now CSS loader and style loader which is uh, which uh, they are uh, they are installed already via the first command now we will go to creating components folder and then come inside my component for and also styles I forgot my so I uh, also styles folder and inside my styles we will just say uh, create index uh, dot CSS SAS, and this is the global uh, SAS file now inside my components we need the index.js now this index.js where the, all the components will be exported and then we will create for instance now just uh, a button inside my button I have index.js where the react uh, button will be rendered is that button button with capital D yes and then uh, yeah and inside also and we need to create a readme file otherwise style guide this will not recognize your uh, component we need to create a readme file under js and then it's like rendering the button inside the readme file Now we have the button. Now we can send also the props via the button because we don't need uh, to uh, make it everything static. So send the props title, and then we expecting the title will be changed. So the button will be rendered every time. And yeah, and then this is the global styles. So let's make a classes here, for instance, a color red. And uh, yeah, let's pause this uh, button, change it to this one to a button, and then the title will be here. And then what's what's left? Ah yeah. So inside my readme, I need to uh, pause the title, and then use the rendered title instead of the static button. Now we will run yarn yeah, style guidest, and this will show, but I, it is this error will show because we don't have bubble configuration for it, so we need to create bubble configuration with bubble RC. And for bubble RC, you need to say presets, and then we will use a uh, bubble React presets. And that's it. So that's it for running the style guidest. I will stop the terminal and then run it again and wait for compiling because yes, now it's compiled successfully and now we can click on it.
and then as you see this is my pattern style guidest I can see the code, I can see the title and then change the title to another thing maybe another thing yeah and then that's it and you can search for all the components I imagine that if you have a, you can set the other and then you can set the uh, component name above the component itself and then it will be rendered directly with hot reloading and that's the nice thing Now what we can do also give a styling and that's uh, also with hot reloading would be really nice to see the pattern visually and then yeah it's, it's very nice for uh, uh, working with the team and then see this is styles will be rendered with hot reloading and I can we give it background maybe green no green it's not hmm not nice so curl and then change this to white and that will be better yeah now as you said as I said this is will be the global styling for index so this is where uh, all the uh, SAS files will be imported here and it will be compiled so every time we need to s just to uh, grab the uh, global styling and also this index where I can export all the uh, components uh, from my components directly Now what I can do also create uh, a specific uh, style for this uh, button with uh, maybe button .sas file and then we will put uh, all the styles that are related to this component just on it choose white coral white yes ah and then in a of uh, instead of using the styles uh, static thing in, in my component we will use the styles and the sas file and then remove the styles from here yes use a class name via the button and that's it Now this button will not render double T, yes. That's it. That's it from code review uh, this week. Don't forget to subscribe and like it. That helps me a lot to make another videos. Thank you. Bye.